Since the launch of Firebase as a unified app platform, it's been possible to use AdMob as a part of Firebase. But what does that actually mean in practice? Well, there's a few things. First, you can use AdMob with Firebase or on its own. Either way is cool. Second, the only big difference for the way you code is how your app gets set up. Firebase has a config file, which the app needs to include, and the dependencies for CocoaPods and Gradle are slightly different. But either way, it's the same SDK for AdMob that ends up in your app, which means the iOS and Android APIs you use to load and show ads don't change. Showing an interstitial, loading a banner, or getting a callback from a worded video, they're all the same. It's really just a question of registering your app and setting up the build config. So, how to choose which way to go? Well, the benefit of using AdMob on its own is simplicity. It's just one service. The benefit of using Firebase is you get Firebase. First class analytics straight out of the box that include your AdMob revenue and ad events, plus easy access to the real time database, crash reporting, cloud messaging, and all that other Firebase goodness. Either way, though, you'll still have the same mobile ads SDK and the same AdMob working for you.